Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Awesome, so we're up and running. Uh, where we left off was we needed to make the lubricant that is in immersive engineering, which requires a distillation tower. Uh, we finished making the liquid oxygen, which will be used as our rocket fuel. Uh, I also looked over here and I noticed that uh, the colors have changed. The uh, tritium is now a neon green. It's no longer blue, so the entire tank has changed from blue to green, which is kind of silly. But it's a specification, plus uh, a lot of colors have changed. The uh, chlorine is no longer pink, it's now yellow and the liquid oxygen is no longer what color was it purple or no it was yellow it's now a light blue so now all of my color coded ender tanks are kind of silly but I'll deal with that later uh, one thing I was testing around with I'll do this off screen because uh, I'm not getting it to work right uh, the liquid chlorine can also be used to uh, or quadruple so I'm going to since this machine's always going to be sitting on idle and full, I'm going to route the chlorine into the chemical infuser, which I had here for DT fuel, but I don't need it anymore. I'm trying to repurpose it, but every time I face it down, it's filling full of sodium. So I'm still trying to figure out how I can make this work. But what I'm planning on doing is sending the chlorine also into the chemical infuser. And then I'm going to move over the electrolytic separator with the rotary condenserator this rocket fuel setup, I'm going to move it over there because I'm using the oxygen, turning it into a liquid, that's what I need, and the hydrogen is being dumped. So if I can repurpose this hydrogen and uh, this chlorine in the chemical infuser, I can make uh, what's required for the chemical chemical infuser, uh, chemical injection chamber. If we hit U on this, this or quadruples, and it needs hydrogen chloride. So just by, re just by moving the machines around, hydrogen from which I'm dumping for the liquid oxygen, and the chlorine, which is standing still because I'm not making titanium, can make the hydrogen chloride. And then I can add that to the assembly line and I can or quadruple. So I'll figure that out off stream because no matter how I flip this thing over and what I'm doing with it, it's filling full of sodium, even both sides. So yeah, like I said, I'll do that off stream. Uh, the first thing that I want to do today, which I got everything ready because I want to get to space faster today. Uh, let's see. I put everything that I need for the lubricant into the dank null. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to build, let me take all of it out. There we go. Smitty joined the game. How are you, hey, Smitty? Hey, hey. I am doing good. Excited for space. Yeah, yeah. That's that's my goal in real life too. Yeah. Smitty the astronaut. Just kidding. I think I'd be too scared to go to space. Probably. It's a terrifying place. Yeah. Hey. Right. You keep doing your thing. I'm gonna work on my little astral sorcery corner. And uh, yeah, you do your thing. Okie dokie. I'll try and get mine done. Uh. ASAP. <laughs> Don't feel rushed. You're good. Yeah. You're good. I did show you the mistake that I made over here in the Thumbcraft, right? No, what? Yeah. Uh, I was flying around getting stuff and uh, I found some nature cores, which nature cores I thought only make the little cube around. Uh -huh. And uh, I place, I, I, they're unharp, they're, you're not supposed to harvest them. But I threw a cardboard box on it and found out I could move it. So I moved them to our base. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I put them down thinking they were only going to make the wood around the we cube. We have a beautiful forest. Yeah, it built, it built itself. Wow. Oh, that is a dense forest. Yeah. So, like, now my Thomcraft building is is full. Wow. Does it keep... Oh, my gosh, it, it goes so It keeps growing. Far. Yeah, it keeps growing. Does it growing. keep making new trees after you break them down? Uh, I put the boxes over them, hoping that will make it stop. But yeah, like we have our uh, our ironwood 
forest that I keep yeah. doing. Yeah, but it's and then the it's rest of this is... it's filled in everything else. Yeah. Yeah. And it started filling in with animals like crazy too. So entity lag. I ended up killing like forty animals that were just in this little section. So. Aww. But I, I'm I'm gonna have to clean it now, like cows and pigs and sheep and everything. So oh, we still it's have... a lot more. Did you? Excuse me, sir. What? I just saw the uh, skeleton horse that's caught in the bear trap. Oh yeah, I named him. Yeah. You like him? Wow. Interesting name. We can call him Er. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's not going anywhere. Lag. It's a lot of ender lilies. Wow. It's it's not his foot that's stuck in the bear trap. <laughs> That's a lot of ender lilies. Oh yeah, because really yeah, because we started uh, hitting all of the ender lilies when we fought the end dragon. Cool. Yeah, and then behind our house, I started pl doing like random, like uh, the all of the different Pam's harvest craft. I'm sorry, I'm making rows back here. Of behind uh, the house? Cool. yeah, behind the house, by the board resource oh, miner. Trees. Whoops. Struggle. Oh, are wow. you st are you wearing your your quantum suit jetpack still? Yeah. Yeah, I would say switch that back out with your uh your dragon chest plate. <gasps> My quantum pants broke apparently. That's so weird. I don't know why you're. What? My helmet's almost broke. My pants are gone. Wait, how are your? Oh yeah, you put your pants in the charger. Oh there yeah. Oh. I took I took them out of the charger by the way and I, I like, and I put them in the ender pouch. Also your inventory upgrade that we farmed up. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah, and then grab your pants and you can switch the boots if you want to. Thank you. I was like they don't break like that. No, yeah. But go ahead and switch your chest plate out cuz the the jetpack is a major conflict with the uh Can you give me dragon armor then cuz I don't think I have any. Uh let me see. What are they called? They are? I just eat the inventory upgrade and my stuff will be back. Yeah, it'll be back. You got cosmetics over your stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, here you go. I went ahead and I put the dragon chest plate in there. Thank you. And I'll take the, the quantum suit off your hands for now. I need to charge my helmet. Okay, yeah, you know how to charge it, right? Yeah. Cool. What does the helmet do again? The helmet is night vision. That we couldn't oh, right. we couldn't get you that. Can't figure out how to make it work. I couldn't. Yeah. Like plus it's not that important, or else we'd like make it happen. You know. It's on the second floor, right? Yeah. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to find an oil deposit. So I need to make the core sample drill. Man, this biome rains too much. <laughs> oh, is it raining? Again? Yeah. It's like it's loud. You know. It's daytime. I'm gonna go dip into the basement for now. Unfortunate, man, mine's not very loud. Yeah. I guess because I'm inside. I'm j I jumped back into my little my basement that I'm working on. Uh, so yeah, core sample drill I need to make first because I need to find um, a deposit. So yeah, core sample drill, and I I already made all of this. It's two light engineering blocks, three steel fences, and four steel scaffoldings makes the core sample drill. So now let's go see if we can find it's per chunk. Okay, my inventory's back. I got all my rock back. We are good to go. Woohoo! A scary little moment there. Do these things need power? I don't think they need power. Let me hook it up to power then. You're like, ugh, really? I mean, more? Yeah. So basically, what I gotta do is I gotta drill each, uh, each chunk to see if there's one of those hidden oil deposits. No fluid reservoir. No minimal. Wow, it has nothing. <laughs> the first, the first chunk that I tested. Okay, I am off to 
to find a collecting crystal. You're off to find the wizard. Snowing here. So pretty. I don't remember these things needing power, but okay. It's snowing where I'm at. Is it actually snowing? Yeah. Oh wow, you flew way off the beaten path. If it rains in a snow mm -hmm. biome, then it's snow. Oh, that does make sense. No fluid reservoir, no mineral. I must have hit this place up with the the Digiminer for everything Digimon. to be gone. Digimon Masters. Digimon are the champions. <laughs> Did you grow up watching that show? Yeah. I watched uh, Pokemon. Do we have gigapickles? Do we have what? Gigapickles? Giga pickles? Yeah. We actually do. Oh, I thought you needed them. You're like, hey. Yeah, Giga Pickles are rare. Uh, there we go. Eight million millibuckets of crude oil. I found the chunk that we need. Hey. I'll go ahead and take the. I don't need. Need the rest of the stuff. So yeah, I just gotta make sure that I'm going to put the entire pump jack in the same chunk. So if I put it in the wrong chunk, like if it splits chunks, it's gonna mess up. Is it sunset? Perfect. Okay. If it gets dark, we can. I I need to sleep this rain away. It's really loud. Do you happen to know what the oh, Let's see. Music and sounds. It might be an ambient noise. No, I turned ambient environment off. And it's still loud. Mm -hmm. um, do you know if... Um, Weather. Collecting crystals? Got it. They have different looking temples? I don't think so. Try checking JEI. Because I think the crystals that you're looking for are the ones you make, the blue ones. Uh, 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 let me make sure. Floating island right here. On it, just a nice little floating island, okay. Alright, I need the projector. Collector crystals. And I need the book, because I'm going to make the pump jack now. I don't think so, I don't see them. Pump jack. And yeah, now, no. this with this, we make this. Is that inside the chunk? Yes, it is. So what are you looking for, resonating? Or harvesting crystals? I thought they were called collector crystals. Collector? Are they, har are they harvesting crystals? Mm, I don't remember what you the needed. The ones that uh, I need for iron transmutation. Yeah, like I really thought it was the ones... Have you gone and checked? I've been playing the game, so like, have you checked the, to see if they've changed yet? Maybe it yeah. just... Yeah, I just went there. Oh, and there's still not starlight? Collector crystals. That's what they're called. Yeah. So yeah, no, I don't think that's something we make. Collector. Oh, not a thing that we can make. Okay. I'll keep searching. I got faith in you. I believe in a thing called love, so... Rhythm of my heart. Do you know that song? Uh, is it the 80s song? I believe in a thing called love! No, actually, no. 
Oh, I have a song to show you. I love that song. Nice. I love it when you share music with me. Oh, oh, oh. I found a dragon's nest. Oh, cool. Kill it. Kill it. No dragon. I might have killed nest. it. There's gold still here. Would oh, you yeah. Have looted it? No, I wouldn't have looted the gold. There's yeah, the no lush swamp. I don't know. Check it out. No chests here. Just be sure you don't pick up plutonium. Don't make there the mistake are... I made. There's no chests. So, what mistake did you make? I made the mistake of switching to my radioactive suit and picking up plutonium, but then sleeping with my sleeping bag, and I didn't know that the sleeping bag replaces the hazmat suit chest piece, so then I got poisoned with radiation. And I lost my 189 levels that I had gathered. Oh no. I did everything right. I just didn't know that like, using yeah. the sl sleeping bag takes off your chest piece. Like, why? Why do you take off your chest piece to, to sleep? Because you have to put it around your body. I don't know. <laughs> you gotta undress for bed. See, that makes more sense than you think. Is it a block of steel that needs to go there? Yeah. Bump. And then another block of steel. Cool. Creative flight to put these machines down is actually pretty bomb. Yeah. yeah. It's prettybomb.com. It's like you. What up? Gotcha. <laughs> Make it sound like that was a cut down. Gotcha. Gotcha. I told you you're awesome, freaking loser. <laughs> Don't think too much of it. <laughs> I guess I can turn chunk borders off. You're a nerd, nerd. Nerd. Polynigmion. Well, what are these trees? And it's hammer time. Do the McHammer dance. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Redwood. Redwood is beautiful. Super tall. Have you seen this? Redwood? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Redwood crazy forests are crazy, tall. yeah. Wow. 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 Pumping up. Pumping that oil. It's a pump jack. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess that's where the fluid comes out. You are getting black, black, black. Crude oil, baby. What up? It's crude. It's crude oil. Because it has a kind of oil. It has a crude sense of humor. Yeah, exactly. And I'm really glad that the, the pump jack is working. Because I've seen other people make a pump jack and then it stops working. Ooh, and they don't know uh, why. Yeah, sometimes, like under the little pump area, you have to dig all the way down to bedrock, and then you have to lay fluid pipe from bedrock all the way up into the pump jack. So Here. it's kind of like the void ore miner, except for a laser that doesn't cost anything. Like we're on Y level 69, I would have to make 69 fluid tanks or you know pipes and run it all the way down to bedrock for this to work. But I'm glad it's working. Okay. Crude oil. Hopefully they won't change the color of crude oil because I made it all black. Sorry, <laughs> you're like, please. Please don't, yeah. Um, I know I already asked this question, but what do the daisies mean again? The d circles? Yeah, the circles. That means if you dig down there, there might be something like special, like diamonds or emeralds or something. I don't know if that includes rock crystals, though. I don't see what they're alluding to. I'll throw those away because we found crude oil pretty fast. I'm really, really stoked. Like, you should check out this setup sometime. Oh, and another one of our twilight trees died. Oh. And I cleaned up everything above it, and it's kind of frustrating. I, I'm starting to think that maybe I'm doing something wrong in Thomcraft. And maybe I'm killing. Maybe I'm. The... Maybe I'm killing the plants. Hope not. 
Oh, what's funny is the uh, the nature cores that I ax that I put down started planting saplings inside of my buildings that have grass as their floors, and sheep started spawning inside of the storage facility. Oh my goodness! Yeah. You're like, please. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like this is gonna be the immersive section. Ooh, what's oh, this? this. What am I saying? This is this is. Already the immersive section. Okay. I might have found some underneath the daisy. Oh, yeah? Like what? I don't know, but there's like a wall of cobblestone and moss stone. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's something like really epic. Something epic. I hear zombies. It might be another end portal. I don't I don't know though. It might be it, it, it might like be it alive. might be a dungeon. I don't know. Like I really don't know. Uh trash can, get rid of this chili pepper seeds. The ginseng. Alright. Now we need to now that we have crude oil, we need to build the distillation tower. The E Peen. Yep. 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 Favorite thing to build. It is. Let's see, baby. How about there? Is that good? I got another Lexicon Botania. Oh, sick. I don't have to make one. Oh, you know what's funny? All of the loot chests that I've been opening up have these these Lexica Botanias in them. Like, oh, it's crazy. Like it's really frustrating, I'm though. Amazing Technicolor glasses. <laughs> yeah. That looks like a good place to put this thing. Ooh, this armor has a lot of stuff on it. I just put it into the thing for you. The ender chest. Thank you. Okay, I think that was all it was. It's like a little area that had a, had a zombie spawner. Yeah. And a couple chests with some cool stuff. Neat. Okay. I was just curious because I kept seeing them, you know, and I was like, I want to know, and you show me. Um, light? It's not light, it's heavies. So, like, was it a dungeon? No, it was just a spawner with two chests. Cool. Okay, redstone engineering. Is there any way to go further, fa forward, and faster with this thing? You can try sprinting and then double tapping and, like, from the ground. Try sprinting, okay. sprinting into a jump. I think I made that work by accident once. Oh, oh this horse looks so cool. What is it? Like he's got like an interesting mane. Does he have armor on? No. Oh. Oh no, you're right. That's there's a baby horse next yeah. to it, right? That's so weird. Interesting. So glad we have creative flight for this, because you know this tower is huge, right? Ooh, dungeon! Nice, go explore. It's an abandoned mine shaft. Finally, these used to be all over the place in Minecraft. Like it really has been throwing me off that we haven't just been like running into these, you know? Yeah, because you said they're they're actually pretty common, right? Yeah, usually. They're all over the place. Uh, it's just like some railroad tracks, some wood. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, we got some charged surdice. Steel scaffolding. Was it not slabs? 
It was two slabs. Like it was slag. totally supposed to be slabs. It's good to have some lag. Let me check this thing. I was walking and there was some broken railroad. Steel and scaffolding my ring of slab. And pulled it towards me and it scared the crap out of me. I thought something was coming at me. Scaffolding slab. Bummer. I built the wrong slabs. And what what happened after that? I, I was walking and there was a broken railroad track on the ground. And my ring of magnetization pulled it towards me to scare the crap out of me. I thought something was coming at me. That's funny. Oh, hi there. Hello there, sir. See you there. Do not scare me in the slightest. I like started taking damage and was like, hmm, what's up? Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, we are just not afraid in this mud pack, huh? Nah, fam. No fear, Shakespeare. That was pretty poetic. I like it. Did you never read those? No Fear Shakespeare? Versions of Shakespeare books that are like easier to read. Like, they like on one side of the page, they'll have um, the original Shakespeare text, yeah. and then on the other side of the page, they'll have like a modernized version of it. That sounds weird. People used in high school to like be able to understand what the heck. Oh, because of the old English. Yeah. Did you read them? Not really. I like Shakespeare, so. It was old. So, old English was really hard for me to understand. I felt I like I like Shakespeare, so. I did a lot of like learning what the like slang phrases meant and stuff like that. Just for my own funsies. Yeah. Abandoned mine shop, although I will say it's quite large. I'm still going through this guy. Is it large and in charge? No, I'm the one in charge. <laughs> Excuse me. So you're large and in charge? Okay, don't just say it like that. <laughs> Be more careful with our phrasing here. In Continuum, I actually had to like jump up and build this stuff. So, this is very relaxing to build this thing like this. <laughs> No, like this, not where I think oh actually in continuum when I built this thing I actually fell off at the top and died from fall damage oh my goodness yep you know what immersive engineering should add those little cable yeah. attachment things you know where you can hook yourself you know like old school like uh, when people were building in the industrial age they had yeah. those like belts with hooks to keep themselves from falling. Oh, yeah. Good idea. That would make sense for this. There was a. I don't know if it's in this contract, because I think I searched it and it didn't come up. But there was scaffolding that made it so easy to build, because you would just right click. You would have a, a stack of scaffolding. You'd put one down and then you'd right click it, and it would keep stacking them on top of each other. So like, you didn't have to nerf oh, it. Oh, nice. You click the bottom and it would stack it. And then you could climb the side of it, like, um, ladders. Yeah. And then at the bottom, you could just break the bottom one and they would all fall, you know? Yeah. That sounds cool. Yeah. Made life a lot easier. So, um, they saw where they're not in. I don't know where I'm supposed to click to make this thing. Did I make it now? I think so. There's a zombie coming around the corner. They'll be coming around the mountain. Why is it saying it's red, though? 
it built, but it's showing red. Yeah, I don't know why. That might be the reason. <laughs> the thing that drives me crazy about these buildings is I never know exactly what direction they're going to face. So, like, the, the part that I thought was the front... Uh... Am I lagging? Probably. I'm trying to sleep and it's not working. I'm also looking at a zombie that's not doing anything. Uh oh. Oh no. It's not letting me vein mine. You want me to try to sleep? Oh no, no, I'm stuck. It happened. Yeah, no, it's, it's not letting me sleep either. Yeah. Like, oh, oh god! Oh god. Did everything- okay, now it worked. Whoa. Oh, that was so weird. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I like left this area and then all of a sudden I was there again and was sleeping and oh, things are like moving around me. It's like still catching up. Weird. This game sometimes is really weird. Yeah, now it's letting me vein mine. It's really struggling. I really hope like it's not me putting down too much stuff in one area. What's funny is everything else that I've built, this distillation tower is not that tall. Because, uh, you know how in Continuum the distillation tower was the tallest thing I built? Uh -huh. This thing looks like a normal building. It looks like the... It looks like our immersive engineering section just has a little chimney on the end. Compared to everything else yeah. that's so small? Yeah. You want, like, um, a crap ton of appetite? No, please don't. We don't need it. But I think I have a void upgrade, so if you dump it into the ender pouch, it'll go into the trash anyway. I, 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 didn't, I didn't mind it. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I didn't know which direction this thing was going to face, so I guessed and I put it down, and it's facing the wall. Perfect. Exactly what you wanted, right? Ugh. But do I want to waste the stream turning it, you know? I wish I could just turn the entire unit, but it's such a massive thing to turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it run now, and then uh, I'm going to turn it off camera. You know, I'm going to redo it. Yeah. Doing the exciting stuff. Yeah. So that should be power. Okay. And then I need to bring bitumen, or not bitumen, that's the byproduct. I need to bring the, the crude oil in now. So let me see if the engineer's manual tells me where. Uh, a large crude oil into a number of byproducts is built as shown, blah, blah, blah. Crude oil can be input into the distillation tower at the back hatch marked with the blue dot. Right here. So this is where I'm going to put the ender tank. The tankiest of ender tanks. And I'm going to change the colors on this so it switches to crude oil. To black, black, black. Nice. Now do you auto input? You are not. I auto input. I bet you do. Everything, right? Everything. <laughs> oh my Everything God. auto inputs. Don't need your negativity. Gotcha. Really. You walked into it, girl. I, just, I didn't know you were gonna so uh, aggressively go at it. That's what you get. Okay, so like me putting down the ender tank directly in front of the hatch did not work. So let me try doing a fluid, an ender fluid. Okay, I need you to extract, always active, and I need you to insert, always active. Are you please going to work now? Oh yeah, it's, oh god, it's turning out bitumen now. It looks like, it, turning yeah, out. You, it, seriously, if you came over here and looked at it, it really does look like it's pooping. It's just quite the phrase. Oh man, and it's already full of gasoline, diesel, and lubricant, so, bummer. Alright, let it's me. It's already full? 
Well, yeah, it it's I uh, yeah, it's full already. Crude oil can be input into the distillation at the back. Okay. Blah blah blah. Uh -oh. Some more blah blah. Water? Is there any way you could send me a bucket of water? Uh, just a regular bucket of water. Yeah. Okay. I just have lava around me. The produced fluid mixes output from the side hatch marked with an orange dot. The bitumen through the front. Okay. The bitumen's gonna go in the trash probably. Uh, let me grab a bucket. You just need one. Yeah. I just I'm mining the lava. The floor is lava. The floor is about to be lava, and I just don't want to fall into it. Yeah. I suppose I can oh, mine. So much. I see. So much junk in our trunk. Sorry. Did you open up loot boxes? No. Wow. I, oh, I guess dungeon. Yeah, dungeon loot and loot boxes. Water bucket is in there, by the way. Oh, thank you. BTW. Thanks. Banks. Spanks? Banks. You are welcome. Thanks. Uh, how did I do it? In continuum. I know I, I used fluid tanks. Item. Man, I forgot about this. I was just going to run it into two trash cans and one lubricant. Interface? Is it the item interface? I think it was the item interface. Wonderful. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay. I am going to grab fluid. And I need to run here. Here. Does not connect. Wonderful. Was it the item? It wasn't the. It probably wasn't the item interface. Uh, I can do Ender IO. I should be able to. Dot bio. Dot bio. As long as you're not saying believe it. We'll do that. Oh. Now I know what you want me to say. Thanks. Thank you so much for that. Dot bio. Data by you. So I want this to extract always active. Let's grab three big tanks. Maybe if I put them down fast enough. This is one of the pirate ships we destroyed. Tank. Oh, there's one of the villages we destroyed. <laughs> yeah. They deserved it. It looks like it had an oil spill One, in it. One, two, three. Was that my fault? No, like, like the way the water, the water changes, changes from, from like ocean, ocean water, water to swamp water. water. It, doesn't it doesn't look like, like it's just dark. dark. It looks like an oil spill because it's such a dramatic change. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Gasoline, diesel, and why is the lubricant not going? Come on, baby. Yeah. I'm talking to the lubricant. Wow. Why don't you just marry the lubricant then? Oh my god. <laughs> Gasoline, diesel, and it's it's not taking the lubricant. Do you think it's shaming you? Oh man, now it's putting gasoline in here too. Gasoline, uh. diesel. And more gasoline. That's that sucks. And it's spitting out so much. Let's do a trash can real quick. There's a bone. Trash. There you go. B two men. It's 
filling up with gasoline now. I can't get the lubricant out. Why didn't the lubricant move? Lubricant is a fluid, right? It's got to be a fluid. Believe it. Squeezer, distillation tower, yeah. Be messed up if I built the rolling machine right here. fly close to the sun in Minecraft. That's the story, right? Like, will I eventually go to space and go up with the angel ring? That I don't know. Should I try it? Yeah, but I don't know if it'll kill your corpse. Oh my gosh, I won't be able to get my stuff back. That's a terrible I don't. Plan. Yeah, I don't know where it will put the corpse. I want to try it though, I'm so curious. I need to try stuff because I can't just sit here and stare at it and wonder why it's not working. <sighs> Lubricant is going up, so it is definitely not coming out of the fluids. I also find it weird that the... It's still working, right? It's still pumping, but it's not making crude oil. Gasoline and diesel. Where did all the lub lubricant go now? Lubricant. Okay, now it wants to go in. Okay. Yay. See if I can make this work. And I want this to be yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay. 
Lubricant. Nice. Why is it full of diesel now? Dude, the, it shouldn't empty. I have got two saddles in the water. That's right. Oh, saddles. you're fishing? Mm -hmm. Two saddles so far. Just dumping all their saddles in the water. These villagers are crazy. Yeah. Good thing we burned them. Gasoline, diesel, and diesel. <laughs> I need that I, that fluid router that I was making. To me, it makes sense if this thing has lubricant in it that I should be able to put this here now and have this work. Gasoline is going to fill up, the diesel is going to fill up, then the rest of the lubricant is going to go into the ender tank, but then this thing is going to fill up with diesel and gasoline, which will stop the lubricant from flowing. That really seems so huge in Continuum. Yeah, in Continuum, didn't, yeah, right? Didn't it seem a lot larger in Continuum? No, like I'm to I'm like huddled down looking into this machine, I turn around, I see you standing there with your head turned up, like looking up into the sky. I'm like, oh, oh hi, hi there. Hi. Yeah. I mean like I think it's the same size, but uh, trash yeah, can fluid. It doesn't seem that big now. It's crazy. I need a fluid filter. Let's grab two of these. Hmm. Look, okay, D-Day, I don't want you to be upset, but I don't think I'm going to be able to go to space tonight. That's okay. We can so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and log off. Okie dokie. Yeah, though. I'm very excited for we can go to space. Let's see. And I'm very excited for your giant member in the sky. <laughs> which is now feeling very self-conscious about his size. Yep. All right, so later, diesel. I'll see you later. Diesel and gasoline. Filter fluids. White lids. Ignore for diesel. And then this one, I will ignore, and I will do gasoline. So which one is this one? This one is gasoline. Gasoline. And then this one will be diesel. And then if I open it, only those two things should go through. Lubricant is filling up. Gasoline is still in there. That's good. I'm gonna. Okay, there goes the gasoline. It's getting dumped.
and the lubricant has filled up, so I won't be able to tell if this works yet. So let's see. Crude oil's at zero. This one's still pumping. They switched. Really? Diesel? Gasoline. Okay. I can deal with that later because it's just going to keep on pumping through because the lubricant is full. I can't test that until I build the machine. Let's see. That, that, that. Move the tank. And let's see, how much time do we even have left? Three minutes, so yeah. I will put this down here. Mm, I still have to move that over there. I'll put this down here for now. I'll change the colors on it. That's our lubricant that we need for the rolling machine so that we can make the titanium gas tanks. Or, yeah, for our oxygen so we can breathe in space. Let's see, Enderbook. Trash can. This puts you up, put the hammer up, the book and the projector, crescent wrench. This goes in here. That in here. Let's see, quests, advanced rocketry. Let's go ahead and make an advanced circuit and then call it a night. Advanced circuit needs silicone wafers, intricate circuit boards, silicone wafers, intricate circuit boards. Let's do one for now. And we needed this red oil eye thing, redstone grinding ball, which is silicone and redstone in the alloy furnace. Let's see, silicone and redstone in here. Can you handle full? Oh wow, yeah, you can handle full. What a weird number. It gave me 47. And then this should be like that. Cool. New mechanism. And let's pump this through the precision assembler. That's what it was.
That, that, and this. Makes one of these. And then this through the cutting machine. Nice, we got four. And ding a ling ding. Loot chest. And now we can make the space station assembler as well as when I get everything situated, I'll put down, I have everything I need to make the rolling machine. I can put that down next episode, which is Monday for me. Put that down, make the tanks, fill them with oxygen, and then we can see what we can do next, because uh, we're not going to be going to space at least until Tuesday night. So two more episodes and uh, then hopefully next time we can fly to space because I want to fly with Trin and not by myself. Let's see what's inside this loot bag. Whole bunch of dungeon loot. Dark steel ingots. Nice. Alrighty. And on that note, uh, thank you so much for watching and tune in next time.